today I was thinking about Pac-Man for some reason and then I thought why not create a tutorial about animating Pac-Man. So that's what today's tutorial will be about. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we need to do is of course create Pac-Man and for that I'm going to be using the circle so I'm just going to left click and drag this here and I'm going to turn on my grid by pressing Control and the G key. Alternatively you could just select the grid from here and I'm going to change the size of my the size of my grid here so I'm going to go to canvas option and then I'm going to change this to 150 and this one to 150 as well and click apply then okay now I just changed that even though it will have no bearing on our animation whatsoever so next thing that you want to do is turn on the snap tool and we're going to snap the origin point here onto one of those cross sections there and I'm going to make sure that this part, the, the entire circle is within four squares here. So I'm going to move this down like so, and that is looking okay to me. Now we need to go ahead and create our mouth. And for that, I'll be using the polygon tool. So I'm going to select the polygon tool and I'm going to create a triangle. So one point here, one point here, one point here, and a final point there. And I'm going to change that color to maybe black, just to differentiate it from the overall shape here. And I'm gonna place this point on the origin point there. I'm gonna snap it onto it. And I'm gonna snap these two points onto this line right here. Now you'll see why I did this in a sec. Select one of the points and we're gonna count up. We're gonna move one of the points up and one down to create a mode. I'm gonna hold on my shift key and move my up arrow key. So I'm gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now you don't have to go up by 24. That is just the number I chose. You could go less or you could go more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. <laughs> okay. So once you're done, just place the both of those layers inside of a group and uh, select the polygon layer and you want to come over here into the blend method and you want to place that to change that to alpha over to cut that shape out so that we can see the open mouth shape. Now, if you zoom in here, I'm just going to zoom in to see if I'm still seeing a part of the pink. No, I may be paranoid there, but I think I'm seeing just a bit of the pink. So I'm going to scale this down a bit like so. And that is okay with me. And now we are almost done setting up our Pac-Man. So the final thing that we need to do is change this color. And for that, I'm just going to select a yellow. Now I don't know the actual yellow, nor am I going to research it. So we'll just work with any random yellow color. Okay. And this is looking okay to me. And we're done. Well, this is just the beginning. Okay. So we have the Pac-Man set up and now we need to do a few more things. Um, Pac-Man has his mouth open, but we also need a shape with his mouth closed. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this mouth underscore open and I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this one closed. Now I'm going to turn off this layer and go inside of this one and I'm going to shut off or we could just delete the poly polygon layer like so. So here we have mode open, mode closed, mode open, mode closed. And I'm going to group these. I'm going to call these mode shapes. I'm going to go ahead and set up a controller so that we can use a controller to open and close the mode. So for that, I'm just going to come over here into Z range and you already know how to create your controllers by now. So uh, I'm not going to really explain this part right here. I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. So Z range position, let me just convert that to an integer and I'm going to export this mode underscore shapes export. So now that is in my library and I'm going to place this in inside of a group. Let me rename that to mode underscore C N T R L short for controller. And one thing that I want to show you right here though, is once I change that to scale, typically I would 
settle for the number 30, right? That's my favorite um, go-to degrees. But for these pur this purposes, because we only have two shapes, I'm going to be using 90. I'm going to actually use minus 90, and that is because I want this, the mouth shape, the open mouth shape, to be at zero degrees here. And when I move down to minus 90, I want the mouth to be closed, okay? So I'm just going to change this to minus 90, like so, and then I'm going to link it. Well, let me convert this to an integer first, and then I'm going to link it to my mouth shape. So connect. So now if we should test that out, move down to minus 90, it's closed, and here at zero, it's open. So that is all set up. Let me turn off the grid here so that we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to move the controller over somewhere here and uh, we're almost done with that. Let me actually just scale this up a bit so that we can see the controller. And that is looking fine to me. Now I'm gonna change the background to black because in the classic games, I think, I believe the background was black and we're not done yet. I'm going to set up a background for my controller here. So I'm gonna use a circle. And I'm gonna place this beneath my controller here and I'm going to hold down control to select the both of these. And I just want to make sure that that shape is underneath the circle there, like so. Okay. And uh, let me just scale this up a bit. Now you don't have to do this, but I just want this to, I just want to set up an, uh, a background or a shape for my controller, right? So this is not mandatory. This is if you decide to do it. And uh, let me just group these like so, and I'm going to place this to alpha over like that. So this is looking good. Now I want an, I want to create an indicator of where, where my controller is at any given time. So for that, I'm just going to use this square tool there, the rectangle tool. And let me select this like so. I'm just going to kind of move this up like that. So we are, we're set. And I'm going to place this to alpha over as well. Well, not alpha over. Actually, I'm going to place that onto my shape. And I'm going to make sure that the mouth control is over each of those shapes. So whenever we move, that shape also moves. And to wrap this all up, I'm going to just add uh, some text. I'm going to go to my text tool here. I'm going to say open. Okay, that is looking fine to me. And uh, let me put that in a group. Duplicate this, and I'm gonna move this down here. So now I'm just going to change the text here to close. That is all set up. And uh, let me turn that off so that we can see what we're doing. The biggest part of the animation is actually the character opening and closing his mouth. Now we're gonna to get to that in a sec. Let me actually scale this down because it's a bit too big for my liking. Now, before we get to that animation, let us just set up a simple course here, or a simple um, background. So let me just use this, and maybe Patman comes in here. I'm not even gonna be very neat here. I'm just going to set this up real quick without any plans whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, and we're back. So let's go ahead and set up our animation now. I'm going to be using my spline tool here to create the path for Patman. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to left click there and I'm going to left click here, left click here, left click there, left click there. And he's going to come all the way over here and exit here. All right. So that will be my path. And uh, let me actually go ahead and straighten these up a bit like so and yeah that looks like it so we have our pac-man here i'm going to place the mouth shapes inside of another group and i'm going to call this pac-man and i'm going to hold on control here and i'm going to right click and we're going to place it onto the path so select that point there hold on control select the path right click and link to spline. 
you can already see that the animation for Pac-Man himself will be very, very easy. Okay, all we need to do is just move him from left to right. So let's actually go ahead and start the animation. Come over here into your key properties, remove that default keyframe, we don't like that. And I'm gonna turn on the animate button and I'm gonna to come to, I'm gonna begin my animation at maybe frame one here. And I'm just going to select the origin point here, move this slightly to create a keyframe. I'm gonna move this out of the frame so that it begins over there. Let me see here, I'm gonna move all the way over here and just move Pac-Man off screen over here. All right, now let me go back here and move the spline out some more so he can be hidden when he, when he begins. And uh, let me run this back and see. So we have that movement there. So that is looking good. So let's go ahead and set up our mount shapes now, or mount animation. Uh, so let me turn on back my controller here. And uh, let me open up, go into the mount control here. And uh, so I'm gonna come here at frame one. And I'm gonna make sure that the mount is open here at frame one. And then I'm going to go to frame two. I'm gonna make, um, make sure that the mount is closed on frame two. Now you might be thinking that to animate his mouth opening and closing, we need to duplicate these two frames over and over and over all the way down to the end. Well, you could do that if you have a lot of time to waste. But what I'll do here is we'll go ahead and use the time loop because this is a perfect opportunity to do so. So I'm gonna select all of these here and place them inside of a group, leaving the background outside. And I'm gonna right click here and well, actually, I'm gonna go inside of Patman here. I'm gonna right click, new layer, and go to time, click on time loop. I'm, ma I'm making sure that that is right over my mode shapes there. And I'm gonna change the duration to maybe, we have two keyframes, so I'm gonna just times that by two, change that to four. And now let me load this up. All right, and now we're ready. All right, so let's play this back and see what we have. And there we go. Let me turn off the controller there. Oops, I turned off the group, <laughs> turn off the control. And the path, all right. So yeah, and we're done. Very, very simple. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And I, well, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.